Good morning, guys. How y'all doing? I hope you're looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're going to get on the bus at 845 and head on over to Calvary Elementary School to be paired up with our students from Calvary Elementary School and begin the official process of mentoring uh, the young men over at Calvary Elementary School. I'm excited. I'm excited about this because I think this is a great opportunity for us not only to have an impact on some kids in our community, but it's also an opportunity for you guys to learn how to become better servant leaders and, and give back to others and feel the benefits and the blessings of pouring into others. And so I'm just super excited. I asked uh, Miss Lee and Miss Jennifer to get back to me and let me know some things that I could go over here on the bullet points here. And so uh, these are the things that I want to kind of address. First and foremost, when we get there tomorrow morning, we'll have some time to sit down and there's going to be a PowerPoint shared, I think, between you guys and uh, the kids. And then what we'll do is we'll pair you guys up with the mentees and then you'll be given a folder. Uh, the folder has a feedback form, and I'm going to share that in a moment. And it also has a goal setting sheet. That feedback form is going to be something that you're going to be able to comb through and look at and kind of get an idea of where these kids are and what they may be, um, you know, coming up short in. And then we're going to use those things to kind of come up with some goals. And again, the PowerPoint will be shared with you guys to kind of help you understand and facilitate that. Uh, then, then once you work that out, we're going to have a STEM activity provided by Miss Jennifer that you'll be able to do with the uh, young men, and that'll be an exciting time. Uh, I will mind you, though, as you're coming from Calvert High School, man, that this is really an important event uh, because you guys are a bright and shining light in our community. And so we're going to go down there into Calvert Elementary School, and we're going to be representing not only yourselves and the program itself, but you're also going to represent the people in this school and our community. So we're going to make sure that we wear the blue and gold with pride. Uh, that you guys go in there putting your best foot forward be assertive be kind uh, set boundaries let these kids know that you guys are the mentor and uh, make sure that you hold them accountable but also make sure you hold yourself accountable right and uh, know that you're not necessarily in the same environment you typically would be in with your friends although there could be some friends of yours there with us we are first and foremost there to serve those kids and trust me when you focus on that you'll reap the benefits of it later on. And so I look forward to hearing about those stories. But before we do that, and uh, before we're able to experience those things, let's go over and show you guys the things that you should expect from the two forms that Miss Lee has put together. Uh, just real quick, so you can see on the band app that you guys should all be a member of because we're sharing this on the band app. Uh, you can see that I put in here the actual event. Tomorrow, you guys will be released at 845. We'll meet down there. Uh, we met last time by the cafeteria, board the bus, head over, and then come back. I'll uh, be back by 10. I'm going to send an email out to your teachers, letting them know that you guys are going. Uh, I hope that there's no conflicts. Remember, this is something that you guys are sold out to. That this is an important thing. The last thing we want to have happen is a mentor not to show up with these mentee. They're counting on you. These kids are looking for you. Uh, they're already asking about you. Yesterday, Silas want to come to a football game and hang out and watch Russell, which was really cool to see. And he stood on the sidelines and he observed the game. And he talked about the players on the field. Many other players came up and introduced themselves. The coaches introduced themselves. Um, he got down and he helped fill the water bottles. He was providing his own service learning, which I thought was really cool too. So that's exciting. Here are the forms that we we're talking about. This is the teacher feedback form. So this is what the teacher is going to be given, and it's going to be in that folder. It talks about the strengths of the student, which I think is a positive way to go. And then which of the following years concern you that you like the mentor to work on the student with. So there's going to be some things checked off here or circled that you guys can kind of use as a way to understand where these kids are coming from and where we can start and begin to set goals for. And then, of course, the goal setting activity sheet. And so this is going to be what you're going to see tomorrow. Uh, we're going to pick one. You and the mentee are going to pick on one to focus over the next few, few weeks. That's going to be a focus there. You're going to talk about what makes the area difficult for the mentee to do. Uh, jot down a few notes and then together make up a plan on how you can improve their focus. Uh, so what does that look like? That's a pretty interesting thing right here. And I think this is a really great activity uh, for you guys to work on. But I think it's something that you guys could probably benefit from yourself as well. And so if we can identify where we want to grow and enrich ourselves and become better, then we can also identify then what goals and tools we can use to help us get there. And so if we take this and, and know how to apply it to our own life, then it's certainly going to be easier for us to help these young men understand how they can apply it to theirs. 
And so I want you to kind of think about that as you're getting ready to go into tomorrow's activity. I want you to think about, okay, in my mind, this is where I'd like to grow. Okay. And, and what's preventing me from growing? Well, you know, me, uh, patience. I want to be better at being patient. That's a pretty broad thing, but let's take this in the scope of, of, you know, um, a, coaching, right? You guys know that I coach. I want to be more patient with the players as we coach. So what I can do is, is one, first and foremost, is that I can make sure that whatever I do, I am personally more prepared. If I am more prepared and I'm out in front, then it's going to allow me to be able to navigate through whatever happens. Because as a coach, you better expect the unexpected. So if I am prepared and I know all my stuff's taken care of, then it's going to allow me to adjust to whatever happens around me that I wasn't expecting. They could change the, the, the energy and the format of the way practice is run. So looking at a particular day, make sure I have my practice plans done early. Get that information out to the players because now the players know where they're going to be at what time. So that takes care of the kids maybe showing up late and me losing patience on that. Make sure they understand what they should be wearing so that way they come out and they're prepared and they're wearing the right things. Uh, make sure we, we give them the plays early enough so they can study them so that way we have limit the mistakes that could happen on the field. These things being done by me, facilitating those things out in front, gives these guys a heads up and allows me to be more patient with some of the mistakes they can make. Okay, then the next thing is, is then I have to also understand that we are all working for a common goal. And so if I know that the players that are working with me, the coaches are working with me, I trust that they're trying to go in the same direction. And if they're not going in the same direction, then I have to believe that there's got to be another reason. And so, again, I have to be patient and trust that they do care as much about what we're trying to accomplish for the day as I do. And so I have to identify those things that can impact me and then I have to come up with goals that I can go through in the day to make sure that I can be more patient. And on top of all these things, I know that if I get well rest at night, that if I eat my lunch and take care of my body throughout the day, um, that if I stay warm when it's cold, that I do all those other things, it's going to take away from my anxiety, it's going to take away from my stress, and it's going to allow me to be more patient. And so these are the things that I've cognitively thought about to make sure that I'm more patient with my team, more patient with my, my wife and my mom, as she lives with us in our basement apartment. And so maybe you guys can think about those things too, so that way when you go sit down with those young men tomorrow and you help set up a goal on something they're trying to accomplish in their life, you can be prepared to do so too. I also want to note that next week, we're going to have a trip going to the Jump Sky Zone, I think it is. And so I want to make sure that, that you guys are aware that we're going to be dropping in some information for that too. There's a waiver form that needs to be filled out online, uh, but I think that, that you have a waiver that you can fill out by hand or whatever, so that way we can get permission to do it online. I don't know, because we can do a whole group together, but I'll be giving you guys more details on that tomorrow. So I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow. Make sure you look the part. Make sure you're dressed well. Not, not crazy, but just put together, right? Don't want our pants hanging down below our butts. We don't want hoods on. Um, you know, we want to be clean and look kept because, again, we're trying to model, you know, an expectation for these young men. And and that maybe it's 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 not so much like, hey, I know you can kind of come into school with pajama pants on and stuff like that. I get it, but again, we're not trying to to, to befriend these guys. We're trying to come in there and set an example. And so you guys should come in there looking a little bit more professional than they are because. We're trying to set that idea that, you know what, you are the mentor and they're the mentee. So look forward to seeing you guys. Get some rest. I love you. I'm out. Boom.